okay so hello and welcome back so in this video we will talk about some larger numbers and these numbers essentially you have in English we, we will discuss them essentially in the English in the international system of numeration and also in the in the Indian system of numeration so uh, basically what happens is that is that essentially uh, the these essentially the numbers that I've written down here for example a one a ten a hundred a thousand a ten thousand and so on and so forth these are essentially the smallest for example one digit number two digit number three digit number four digit number five digit number for example ten thousand is the smallest five digit number right and the way that you can get to these numbers is essentially you can essentially if you start with the one which is the smallest one digit number if you multiply it by 10 you'll get it to a 10 which is the smallest two digit number the 10 if you multiply it by 10 you'll get to a hundred which is the smallest three digit number the hundred which is the smallest three digit number multiplied by 10 you'll get to a thousand which is the smallest four digit number and so on and so forth so you ha you have essentially over here you have one ten hundred thousand and so on and so forth which is essentially the numbers that we have over here another way to get to the same numbers is through addition right through addition essentially what you will do is that you have let's say let's, let's start with the nine which is the smallest which is the greatest one digit number right so essentially these numbers you know that essentially you go from one two three four five and so on and so forth all the way up to nine and then after nine you have the 10 11 12 13 and so on and so forth all the way up to 99 then over here you have a hundred and then hundred one and then 102 and then all the way up to 999 so you see over here um, so you see over here that um, that basically that one for example is the smallest these are all one digit numbers these are all two digit numbers meaning natural numbers or counting numbers these are all three digit numbers and one is the smallest one digit number nine is the greatest one digit number 10 is the smallest two digit number 99 is the greatest two digit number 100 is the smallest three digit number 999 is the small is the greatest three digit number and so on and so forth right now what happens here is that so that way essentially using this essentially using this method you can you can use the greatest one digit number add one to it you will get a 10 which is the which is essentially the the smallest the smallest two digit number which is the which is essentially the the 10 the 10 that we have here again the greatest two digit number which is 99 if you add one to it you get to 100 which is the which is again the smallest three digit number 999 plus 1 is the same thing as a thousand which is the smallest four digit number so that way you can also get to the same numbers right now um, what happens here is that is that basically uh, essentially in, in the international system of numeration you have the one you have the ten you have the hundred you have the thousand you have the ten thousand you have the hundred thousand one million and so on and so forth and you see that you use essentially a comma for these numbers and the comma as you can see separates every every three digits meaning you separate a digit over three digits here then again another three digits then again another for example three digits three digits three digits and so on and so forth that's how the the international system of numeration works 
and the names you already know about this system for example this is called a one a ten a hundred a thousand a ten thousand a hundred thousand a one million ten million hundred million and um, and basically you have the you have a hundred million you have and then and then you have a billion you have a 10 billion you have a hundred billion you have a hundred billion and then you have a trillion you have a 10 trillion you have a 10 trillion you have a hundred trillion and then for the rest of these numbers i don't really know i don't really have any names for these numbers for example a one and one two three four five fifteen zeros in front of it i don't even have a name for that but of course the the, the numbers do exist but they are not usually used in the among people such large numbers so even if they have names i'm not aware of the names essentially now that's not really important the number itself is important and then basically what you have is that in the indian system then the the comma essentially is acting in a different way meaning that the in the in the international system the comma separates every every three digits right but then in the indian system the comma separates the essentially the first comma separates three digits the second comma separates another two digits not three digits but two digits then the next comma again separates another two digits another two digits another and so on meaning that only the first comma separates three digits and then then the rest of the comma separates every two every two 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 digits all the way up to the end of the number right so so then basically the the numbers essentially are as far meaning that you have essentially a one and a one over shear a 10 and a 10 over shear a hundred and a hundred the same essentially a thousand and a thousand ten thousand ten thousand but then a hundred thousand is written this way right and then it's called one lakh right and lakh is essentially is a word that is that is used essentially in the hindi language or in in, in also in persian language um in um, um in the in the urdu language and the word lack is is written this way so this is essentially called the devanagari script and the, the script is used for the hindi language also for the for the sanskrit language so that's essentially how you would write the word lack although if you were to pronounce this word that would be lock but then among people the word is pronounced as lack um then for example a, a million would be essentially so so if essentially if, if a hundred thousand is one lakh then multiply the same number by by 10 you would get a million and then a million would be 10 lakhs meaning 10 times a hundred thousand so that's 10 lakhs and then one million if you multiply it by a factor of 10 you'll get a 10 million and 10 million is written this way so one two zeros two zeros and three zeros and then that is called the crore the crore is written this way in hindi or in sanskrit so that's a k re o re that's a crore and then this uh, essentially 100 million would be 10 crores right and then um and then the essentially 100 million after 100 million you would if you multiply it by a factor of 10 you'd have a essentially a billion in english a, the billion is written this way in the indian system of numeration and it's called an arab arab coming from essentially probably from the arab world because india 
was actually uh, the essentially the, there were there were many years essentially in India where Arabs were living in India and so then essentially some of course many words have 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 entered the Hindi language from the Arabic language of course so one Arab would be essentially a billion which is written this way that's a that's a billion and then 10 billion would be 10 Arab uh, and Arab essentially is written this way Arab so that's that's essentially the word for Arab 10 billion would be 10 Arab and then and then after the 10 billion you have the the 100 billion the 100 billion is written this way and it's called a carab a carab essentially and the word is kerebe carab okay in devanagari and then you have the 1 trillion in english 1 trillion which would be 10 carab after basically 10 carab you have the you have the you have essentially the 10 uh, the you have after one one trillion you have 10 trillion which would be a nil in in hindi in the in the indian uh, system of numeration would be a nil a nil would be written this with ni ne e le nil one nil and then a hundred trillion would be 10 nil and um then basically the, the next number which is the, the previous number multiplied by 10 i don't have any words word, words for it that that's a one and one two three four five five times three is 15 zeros in front of it that's it that's in hindi it's called a padma padma essentially this is a pe pe and the this is a de and me if you put them together that becomes a padma that's the word that i've written over here okay that's a padma and then the next number meaning that the the, the, the one padma multiplied by 10 becomes 10 padma that's essentially that f and then after that you have the the, the, the 10 padma multiplied by 10 becomes this number in the international system of numeration which becomes a shank in the in the indian um, system of numeration that's a shank shank essentially this is a share uh, shank so this is a share and this is a k and this is the ne so that's a shank and then of course one shank times a 10 would be of course a 10 shank right so that's basically all the large all the very large numbers in the international system of numeration and also in the in the indian system of numeration okay so we talked essentially over here to 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 recap we have essentially apart from the one one through 10,000 we have essentially a couple of words here we have the lack we have the crore we have the the Arab we have the carob we have the Neil and we have the pot we have the Padma and we have the shank basically right so these are essentially the words that we used here essentially in the Indian system of the although these numbers are essentially these names are even not used in the in the hindi language i mean like never actually never used in the hindi because the numbers are actually very large meaning they have no they have actually no uh, application in the in, in in the daily language meaning arab sometimes maybe once in a while once in five years ten years you would hear that Carab, you would never hear it. Neil, you would never hear it. Padma, you would never hear it. Shank, you would never hear it. But then the lack and crow are used in everyday language. Okay. Um, and that is essentially all about that. Now, one more thing essentially that <coughs> I think it's helpful here to be added to this video 
is the fact that is the fact that for example let's say essentially when when it comes to these large numbers it's um, it's sometimes you get you might get confused i mean for example let's say that starting from the six the, the greatest six digit number so the greatest six digit number So whenever you want, for example, what is the greatest six-digit number, whenever, or for example, the smallest six-digit number. When, when, when essentially, whenever you want to think about greatest or smallest n-digit numbers, or essentially one digit, two digit, three digit, and so on, when it comes to greatest, all the digits in the number is supposed to be nines. So that, that is essentially nine, nine, nine. 999 nine, nine. that's six digits and all nine so that's the greatest six digit number which is 999,999 in in um, in Indian system would be 9,99,999 right so um, and then when it comes to the smallest for example six digit number the last digit in the number is always a one the smallest digit possible possible and then the rest would be zeros meaning that one and then zero 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 which is a hundred thousand and then in the indian system it would be essentially one lakh right so now starting from this from this greatest for example six digit number which is the nine ninety nine 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 ninety nine if you want to write essentially the previous five numbers in descending order you want to write the previous five numbers in descending order so how do you do that and you want to write them in descending order meaning um, meaning essentially from the from the from the greatest one to the smallest one right so what is the uh, what what is the number previous to 999999 that would be essentially 999999 minus a 1 you have to subtract 1 from the number 9 minus 1 is then is an 8 and then the rest would be essentially 9 so Essentially, that nine 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 eight, right? So the number would be the pre. Essentially, before nine ninety nine nine ninety nine comes what comes nine ninety nine nine ninety eight, right? Of course, this comma is not the same as this comma. These are of course different, right? So this is, and you want to write these in descending order. Now, what is before 999998? Again, you have 999997, right? Before this number, you have 999996. Before this number, you have 999995. And before this number, before this, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. We were looking for five numbers. So that's 999-994, right? So it's useful to essentially to practice with these numbers. And because when it comes to large numbers, subtracting and multiplication or addition, things like that might become a little bit confusing sometimes. Or basically from the starting from the from the smallest starting from the smallest eight digit number write the next five numbers write the next five numbers in ascending order in ascending order and you also want to read them 
okay so what is the smallest eight digit number since i'm looking for the smallest i go for the one and zero zero zeros and then i need eight digits that means that i have i need essentially seven digits over here so i go for one zero and then another six digits so that's seven zeros in front of one and then one one so that's it six plus two is equal to eight digits that's the smallest eight digit number which is 10 million in the indian system this number is the same as i think a crore if i'm not mistaken uh, so you would essentially write the number this way and this way and this way and that is um, essentially one crore right 10 million is a crore as we over here 10 million excuse me 10 million 10 million 10 million is a crore right right now so we we are essentially looking for 10 million right and and then basically what you want to write the essentially the next five numbers in ascending order meaning starting from the smallest ones to the largest ones so what is the number after 10 million that would be 10 million one right if you don't if you if you if you cannot think of this in your mind to some people it might be confusing so write your 10 million and then add a one to it of course the one is supposed to come here add a one to it right and then zero plus one is one and then zero 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 and then zero one that's ten million one so you have the number ten million one then you have ten million ten million two then you have ten million three then you have then you have ten million four then you have ten million five so that's one two three four five numbers right so that is essentially some some basically some material related to large numbers and the counterparts also in the indian system of numeration thank you